The noble giraffe, a staple species for any child learning the animals of the world. Well now, kids are going to have to learn about four distinct species of giraffe, not just one. A research team from the Giraffe Conservation Foundation in Namibia tested the DNA of nearly 200 giraffes from across Africa. The recently published results dispelled centuries of science that had wrongly placed all the giraffes under one species, Giraffa camelopardalis. Now they will belong to one of four species, the southern giraffe, the Maasai giraffe, the reticulated giraffe, and the northern giraffe. The team found genetic mutations that were present in certain groups and absent in others, and mutations were akin to the differences that separate brown bears from polar bears, and even humans from chimpanzees. For the most part, though, the giraffe species look fairly similar. The visible differences range from different lines and colored spots to different horn structures. And in case you were thinking what I was thinking, the researchers did not find any examples of hybridization or cross mating between the groups in the wild. Instead, the species might have diverged from one another relatively recently, about 1.5 million years ago, just like humans and chimpanzees parted ways about six or seven million years ago. As to why it took so long for scientists to figure this out, for some reason, there's just not as much studies done on the giraffe compared to Africa's other wildlife like lions and elephants. The new finding does have important implications, though, for giraffe conservation. Over the past 30 years, giraffe numbers have dropped to about 90,000 individuals from about 150,000. Right now, there are only about 4,700 northern giraffes and 8,700 reticulated. When you split up these 90,000 animals into four species, it makes it immediately clear that these giraffes are threatened. And now, you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.